Good morning, everybody. This is Jake Kleoschko. Today is Sunday. It's not our normal uh, uh, broadcast that uh, I would normally do as I rest from the morning broadcasts on Saturdays and Sundays. But today, I thought I'd say a little something about uh, what happened at church. In the Gospel of today's Mass, uh, we heard Jesus talking about how we should be taking the last place. That whoever wants to exalt himself shall be humbled. And whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. And, and the priest today talked about humility. So his homily was about humility. And uh, the Mass went on. And as communion time came, there was a Eucharistic accident. Our Lord, our Lord's uh, body, sacred. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, <laughs> disconcerted. That's why I, um, I'm not, I'm not too focused. But anyway, uh, the blood of our Lord spilled at Mass today. And it just occurred to me, you know, the priest spoke about humility and today's gospel is about humility. Don't you think the first expression of our humility should be in the manner we receive our Lord's sacred body and blood? Of course, it's allowed that we receive communion standing up uh, here, especially in the United States and in many parts of the world receiving Holy Communion standing up and uh, in the hand is something that we are allowed to do. But the question is, is that the best way to receive our Lord? Is that the most humble way to receive your God, the creator of heaven and earth, he whom you profess to his greatness and, 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 and he whom you adore, he whom you say you love with all your heart, uh, he whom you have offended too many times for comfort. Really, is that the most humble way? Is that the most humble disposition and gesture that we could muster to receive our Lord in his, the Eucharist? Is receiving communion in the hand or standing up the best way, the most humble way? I think we should ask ourselves that question. And it's not just because it is allowed that we should perhaps abuse it and we should perhaps not look into other ways by which we could, in fact, receive our Lord in a better way, in a more humble disposition. It brings to mind, um, you know, what, what Jesus told the Jews when they questioned him. Why, does Mo why did Moses allow us to uh, divorce our wives? What did Jesus tell them? It wasn't so from the very beginning, but it was because of the hardness of your hearts that Moses allowed you to write a writ of divorce for your wives. Perhaps the same thing should, should be uh, considered as far as receiving Holy Communion is concerned. Perhaps the reason it's being allowed is and is being tolerated and all the abuses on the Eucharist are being tolerated, it's because of the hardness of your hearts, of our hearts, and I include myself in that. Maybe it's the hardness of our hearts that these things are being allowed and tolerated and perpetuated. But is it really the best way? Is it really the most humble way to receive the Lord of Lords, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ in the species of bread and wine, His Eucharist, His body and blood, soul and divinity, is it really the best way to receive our Lord standing up on the hand, on the palm of our hand? 
Do we really feel that worthy to hold and receive our Lord in that manner? There must be a reason why the church has for the longest time encouraged the practice of receiving Holy Communion in the tongue. Because our own hands are not consecrated in the same way the priest's hands are consecrated to handle the sacred body and blood of our Lord. Could it not be a consequence of our own arrogance that we so nonchalantly go up there in communion and mindlessly just uh, have, extend our hands or, uh, uh, I don't know, um, stand up there to just receive him in, 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 in less humble ways? <laughs> I could not fathom, I just, I just could not imagine how uh, I could ever do that. And what Cardinal, the good Cardinal Arinze from Africa once said, you know, if you are convinced that you are receiving your God, why don't you kneel? Why don't you crawl? Right? Cardinal Arinze goes as far as to ask, why don't you crawl? If you are convinced you are receiving your God, And it even becomes more ironic, friends, when we as a parish in our own St. Joseph's Parish have as a motto, right, to evangelize Christ's people beginning from the Holy Eucharist. Beginning from the Holy Eucharist. <laughs> Yet, I haven't seen so many Eucharistic accidents of recent memory than in this very same parish. You know, you, you, you've you been seeing my posts, uh, that I've been posting about all those Eucharistic accidents. How ironic could that be, right? Here we are having a motto that we are evangelizing God's people beginning from the Holy Eucharist, yet we are the first ones who have plenty of accidents. And what does that tell you then? What does that tell you? about how we care for the Eucharist. What does that tell you about our dispositions towards the Holy Eucharist? Something to think about, right? And maybe today, Sunday, the day when all priests hopefully are preaching about humility, we might want to ask ourselves, what might be the most humble way what might be the most humble gesture and disposition that we should be approaching the Holy Eucharist? You know, there's one thing that bishops and priests don't even tell you. And what is that? What is that? The option to receive our Lord kneeling down and on the tongue has never been abrogated. It is in fact there in the general instructions of the Roman Missal. But you know what? Our priests, our bishops, they don't want to talk about it. Why? I don't know, beats me, but that uh, to me smacks of uh, lack of uh, honesty, lack of uh, disclosure, because it's there, it's written in the books, it's there. It's in the very instructions that they are supposed to be following, right? the option to receive Holy Communion in the tongue and kneeling down. But nobody preaches about it. Nobody talks about it. Why? Maybe everybody thinks, ah, <laughs> this is more convenient, this is easier, you know. So is it now a matter of just convenience? Is it a matter of just now trying to finish things up as fast as we can because everybody's bored at mass because everybody wants to go home and do something else like watch football or go to a uh, 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 go to a restaurant and celebrate whatever it is yet we don't have the patience to wait to receive our lord in holy communion with devotion with love with humility what's that all about and priests, bishops, you're not talking about what is there 
in the general instructions of the Roman Missal. You are not educating the faithful about their options. Why are you hiding that? Why is it that nobody is talking about it? Then you blame people that they don't know. You can blame people now for being ignorant. A lot of people in the United States particularly and some other parts of the world grew up with the practice already of communion in the hand or communion standing up. They never had a privilege like older folks like me had of witnessing the beauty of receiving our Lord on the rails, kneeling down in communion, sticking out our tongue. A lot of people grew up in the United States and other parts of the world already thinking that the normal thing to do and the only way to do it is to stand up and extend your hand or whatever it is. Well, no, that's not the tradition of the church. That's not the way the church has done it for all these years. Yes, of course, there were times when, in the beginning especially, yeah. But, you know, we learn from all of that. And the church has learned that the, the best way is to receive our Lord by the tongue, kneeling down. The most humble way to receive our Lord. And, of course, she still allows us to do it other ways. But, hey, by the hardness of your heart, maybe. Not because it's the best way. Let's examine ourselves, folks, and let's ask ourselves, what is the most humble way we could present ourselves to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist? If you really believe that He is God and that you are receiving God, why don't you kneel? Why don't you crawl? As the good Cardinal Arinze asks all of us. Today might be a good day to think about these things. Have a good day, everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.